This episode of Grip Tips is brought to you by Lightbulb Grip. We're back, we're back. I'm Dave Donaldson, welcome back to Grip Tips. Today we break So last time on Grip Tips, I showed off a recessed light socket to a 5 8 baby pin adapter, also known as a tampon, uh, and I got a lot of different comments, but they all pretty much said kind of around the same thing, which is I don't really know how much weight I would actually trust to be on uh, one of those. And I thought to myself, that's actually a very good point, and we should probably bench test this. So let's do it. So I wanted to do this with the flimsiest materials that I could find at Home Depot, and I screwed a gang box into a joist and then attached the light socket fixture. I found this Leviton fixture for $1.39, and with the gang box, I spent a total of four bucks for this experiment. My theory here was that the cheaper that I spent, the less the quality would be of the recessed socket. Now, I didn't wire in the electrical because I figured the main point for this actual test is to figure out when the actual metal inside of the socket would actually give. After I installed, I rigged a gobo arm to it, weighing four and a quarter pounds to start. Then from there, I had a set of weights and just started adding two and a half pounds over and over again onto a safety chain. These weights I actually used for my DSLR jib that I bought, and I only had 52 and a half pounds that I could actually add. I'm actually really surprised because I maxed out all of my weight without the socket even failing. So once I maxed out, I was trying to think of a way to continue my test as the main point here is to break the socket. I was trying to figure out what I had laying around that I could actually rig to the fixture and then use my dumbbell weights to keep going. And then it hit me. This is a Mambo Combo stand and it weighs 48 and a half pounds. So I lifted the Mambo Combo off the ground and hung it by the baby pin of the adapter and started piling on weight every two and a half pounds like I did before. And I was actually shocked at where it decided to break. Mambo Combo. 40 pounds. Now that was 40 pounds added onto a Mambo Combo, that's 48 and a half pounds, which means that this actually broke at 88 and a half pounds. That's pretty damn impressive for something that's only supposed to hold a light bulb. Then I started thinking to myself, there's gotta be a flimsier light socket out there. Uh, so I told the electricians over at Home Depot what I was doing and they recommended this. A recessed can light with drywall. These are supported with really lightweight, thin metal that actually act as a support for the can and the drywall is installed over it. And you mainly find these fixtures inside of kitchens, bathrooms, pretty much any house that's had some sort of remodel. So I rigged it up between the two joists, installed a piece of drywall just to get it as close to the real thing as possible and then screwed in my adapter to the socket. And from there, I began doing my test again, adding two and a half pounds every single time until finally, 45 pounds. This came out to be 40 pounds before the actual socket gave way, and I'm not gonna lie, I was really hoping that the drywall would come blowing out, but it didn't, sorry. Okay, so now what do we gather from all this? We've got the one light socket that actually broke at almost 90 pounds. I thought that was very, very impressive and a very cool test, but at the same time, maybe we should need to forget about that one and actually look at the one that was weaker, uh, as that would probably be a better idea to go off of. Even though that broke at 40 pounds, I would even cut that in half and say, Let's, let's not rig anything that's 20 pounds or more uh, to one of these light fixtures. So like, um, like a Kino Flow 4x4 Bank Tegra. That's a 19 pound light. And I know that because I looked up the uh, specs before I did this episode, but still, if it's smaller than a Tegra, you're probably fine. If it's bigger than a Tegra, maybe don't do it. And also make sure to use safety chains whenever possible. And speaking of safety, Lightbulb Grip is a lighting rental house based out of Brooklyn, New York, and they're dedicated to the education and safety on all film sets. If you have any questions about rigging, on-set safety, or even gear that you've seen in today's episode, you can contact them by heading over to their website at www.lightbulbgrip.com. So I thought that this was a very neat and exciting episode. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions for things that you would like to see bench tested, I would love to do those. Uh, that way you guys aren't doing them when you're on set getting paid. I'll definitely look into them. Uh, if you have a couple of ideas, leave those in the comment section below. Uh, also, you can follow me on my Twitter right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time right here on Grip Tips. Mm -hmm.